Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are reviewing the Ray-Ban New Wayfair sunglasses. Now, yes, I have previously reviewed this pair of sunglasses before, but I think that video is almost four years old now and definitely needs a little bit of updating. The video and audio quality of that review isn't quite as good as I'd like it to be, so here's my update review of the sunglasses. So right here, we just have a very standard pair of Ray-Ban New Wayfair sunglasses. The model number of these is RB2132, and this is the standard lens size. So they have 50 55 millimeter lenses and an 18 millimeter bridge. Ray-Ban also does produce these in a larger and a smaller size. And I actually did do a full size comparison between all the three different sizes that Ray-Ban makes for the Ray-Ban New Wayfair. If you guys want to check out that video, I'll have a link here in the information card. And hopefully that video will help you guys decide which size is best for your face size and shape. But with all that being said, I think the standard size of 55 millimeter lenses are going to probably fit about 85% of the world's population best. Now the Ray Band New Wayfarers were originally released all the way back in 2007. Now in that time period of the early 2000s, those really thin and narrow wraparound sunglasses were really trendy. I'm really glad the sunglasses are not trendy anymore, but they were at the time. And because of that, Ray-Ban's original Ray-Ban Wayfair styles and even Aviator styles were not doing good at all. So Ray-Ban decided to develop these new Wayfair style as kind of a hybrid between the classic original Wayfarers and those trendy and narrow wraparound style of the time. Now, a lot of eyewear enthusiasts really criticize the new Ray-Ban Wayfair as being a cheaper version of the classic Wayfarers. For example, the new Wayfarers have nylon frames, where the classic original Ray-Ban Wayfarers have a beautiful, high-quality acetate material. Acetate's the highest quality of plastic that you can basically put in eyewear. Also, the original Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses were handmade in Italy, and the new style were only made in Italy. They weren't handmade in Italy. Also, the hinges on the new Wayfarers are just a very simple Luxottica hinge, nothing too special, where the hinges on the classic original Ray-Ban Wayfarers are a seven-barrel design, which really hold up through time and are just overall better quality. Even though the Ray-Ban original Wayfarers are a better overall pair of sunglasses on paper, that doesn't necessarily translate into the real world, because there are a few problems that people have with the original classic Ray-Ban Ban Wayfair sunglasses. So one of those is styling. They're just very bold and very angular and very sharp here as you guys can see in those outside corners. And that gives these frames a very polarizing look which aren't going to be appealing to everybody. The original Wayfarers also have a tilt into them which again is not going to be for everybody. A lot of people who try these sunglasses on for the first time feel really weird and don't really like the angle that comes in. And because of that they gravitate towards the new Wayfair. Another reason people gravitate from the original Wayfair to the new Wayfair is because the originals are much more heavy because they have those 100% acetate frames with glass lenses. They're going to be very heavy and substantial where the new Wayfair sunglasses because they have nylon frames are very lightweight and just feel really good like you could wear them for all day without any discomfort and you really can't say that with the originals. So which pair is best? Well of course I'm going to go ahead and leave that up to you. There are a lot of pros and cons to both pairs and honestly I also really do like these new Wayfair sunglasses. So let's go ahead and jump into the more normal part of the review where I talk about all the features of these frames. Of course, they're going to have a painted on a Ray-Ban logo here in the top right corner of the sunglasses. And after that, they have a P because this particular pair have polarized lenses. So they have the P after the Ray-Ban. Of course, like every pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses, they're also going to have an etched RB logo here in the middle of the lens for authentication purposes. Now, if we move down the temple, we can see this embedded Ray-Ban logo that's kind of embedded into the frames and that looks really good and very nice, very clean. Another big styling element on these frames is these iconic metal accents that really take uh, inspiration from those original classic Ray-Ban Wayfair sunglasses. These frames that I'm wearing right now have matte rubberized frames. This rubberized material really fits on the face very good and it doesn't feel like they're going to slip off or anything like that very easily. Now as far as lenses go, like I said, they do have polarized lenses and these are Ray-Ban's G15 polarized lenses and of course they're going to block 100% UVA and UVB rays. Ray-Ban's G15 lenses are classic in Ray-Ban sunglass lenses. Lineup, and they're going to offer a very neutral tint to the outside world. I definitely recommend them and they are made of all glass material so the optical quality of these is very very good and they're also going to be more scratch resistant than plastic so that's also a bonus. Like I said earlier these sunglasses are made in Italy. They're not handmade in Italy but they are made in Italy and they say that here in the inner right temple sunglasses they say Ray-Ban made in Italy and then polarized after that. As far as looks on face go I really do like the look of these new Wayfair sunglasses. They still 
still somehow look modern even though they are about 13 years old. And I think these sunglasses fit me very well and I think they're going to fit a lot of people very good as well. So as far as coverage from sun goes, they're actually going to offer pretty decent coverage from sun. There isn't a huge gap to sunlight in unprotected here up top. Definitely there is a gap but nothing too huge. But then here on the sides is about an average gap to sunlight in unprotected. So they're not going to offer quite as good coverage as something like a pair of original Ray-Ban aviator sunglasses but they're not going to offer bad coverage from the sun either. Now as far as pricing goes, these are going to run you around $144 directly from Ray-Ban's website, but I've definitely seen them for around $20 or $30 cheaper than that on Amazon. So I'm going to leave a link description down below where you guys can check out these sunglasses directly from Amazon and hope you guys can save a little bit of money by buying them from there. So overall, I really do like this pair of sunglasses. I think they look very good on my face and this is actually the only pair of Ray-Ban sunglasses that have become a classic since the Luxottica bought Ray-Ban back in the early 2000s. And every other pair of classic Ray-Ban sunglasses were designed when Ray-Ban was owned by a previous company before Luxottica came in and bought them. But that's all I got for you guys in this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below. And of course, make sure to subscribe button and then you'll be notified every single time I put a brand new video just like this one to my YouTube channel. Again, thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one.